I need the fullness of God in life. I have another family member who uh, we got baptized together, but he no longer believes like I believe. I need the the compassion of God in my life so I can encounter my brother and not do this. I need that. And when I get that, I give thanks for that. Some of you know um, I'm in a ministry called Kairos. If you've been on a walk to Emmaus, uh, Kairos is the same thing inside prison. And I've been doing that uh, for seven or eight years. We're about to do one after Christmas here. But when you go and do that, uh, the people who you're ministering with, well, They don't dress like you. They don't act like you. They don't talk like you. They don't even smell like you. And it's hard. It's hard. I need the fullness of God. I need God's mercy so I can minister with him. It's on my heart, but it's tough. I need the fullness of God in those situations. And I give praise for that. I give thanks for having that. I need faithfulness. Boy, I need faithfulness. When I turn on the TV and I see what's going on in politics, I need faithfulness. I need I need to know, I need to be reminded, I know this, that God is in control and that my faith is in him and nothing that's going on in this world. I need the fullness of God and I give thanks to God because I don't have to watch and listen to all that stuff. I need forgiveness. I need forgiveness. I share with you about my dad um, a few years before he passed away. If you remember what Promise Keepers was, he and I went to a Promise Keepers. And um, I forgave him at a Promise Keepers event. I couldn't do that myself. I needed God in my life to do that. And I'm glad I did. I give God thanks because I focused on that rather than the fact that he wasn't there in my life than I, and I wanted him to. I need the fullness of God in my life. And I give thanks knowing that I have it. <laughs>